go see. As we see, the Catholic answers of the children imply that they do not even regret for what they did. The Hadley couple would have never dreamt of this. The children's act has adversely affected the rates, the sales of the mechanical houses. The rates, which have increased remarkably since this summer, have started to decline gradually. Today, many parents across the country are having skeptical attitude about buying mechanical houses. The whole country is filled with trepidation after seeing this horrific disguise of modern technology. In this era of man versus machine, the death of Hadley couple has left an indelible mark in the history of human civilization. Now the other news from Saika. Thank you, Dravi. Now first execution in the current history of equality. It has been 10 decades of perfect equality that nobody went against their obligation of bearing handicaps by the government of the United States. But it was the first time in the entire history of the perfect equality that handicap general confronted the terrorism. The name of this terrorist is Handicap Harrison Bergeron. It was firstly caught by the police six months ago for breaking his handicaps. Already at the age of 10, he had shown great reluctance to wear the handicaps. And according to handicap general, his action of breaking the handicaps at the age of 14 implied that he would be a threat to equality. Right after one month of his first arrest, he escaped from the jail. At that time, scrap metal was hung all over him. Ordinary, there was a certain cemetery, a military neatness to the handicaps to issue to strong people. But Harrison looked like a walking junkyard. In the race of life, Harrison carried 300 pounds. His action of escaping, even he was wearing 300 pounds, for them that he would terrorize the government and violate the equality of the society. After his escape, he was provoking people to break their handicaps. But at last, handicapped general has arrested him. And after 20 minutes, he is going to execute him in the center of the town. So his execution will be an exemplary punishment for other people who are thinking to follow him. This will also be conducive for them to remember the punishments before taking action against government. Now, we are taking you directly to the site where the execution of the biggest terrorist of the history is going to be ha happened. Julia, would you please like to tell us what is happening there at this moment? Yes, of course. Thank you, Saika. Viewers, now I am taking you to the space where Harrison Bajan is going to be executed in front of millions of people. Harrison Bergeron, age 14, has just escaped from jail. He is an athlete and genius, is under handicapped and should be regarded as extremely dangerous. People here are shouting and throwing derogatory words towards him. Let's see what their opinion about this incident is. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you thinking about Harrison Bergeron's execution? Do you support it? Yeah, I think it's an effective initiative taken by the government and I really appreciate the government for that. And obstinate people like Harrison Burgeon should be removed from the society because all he's trying to do is harm the government who struggles to alleviate the inequality from our society. So, the moment people cheating, start cheating on laws, what do you think happens to the society? Uh, well, if I try to get away with it and the other people would get away with it also, then pretty soon we would be back to the dark ages again, with everybody competing with everybody else. So. Okay, thank you very much. You. Viewers, let's hear it from some more people. Hello sir, would you mind telling us about the execution of Harrison Bergeron? Do you think it's an exemplary initiative taken by the government? No, I don't think so. Harrison is the one who urgently fought for equality. They were burdened with fresh rings and bags of bird shots and their faces were masked. Uh, so no one seeing a free graceful gesture. Uh, uh, sorry this sir, what did you ask? Uh, what I was talking about? Oh no sir, it's okay, thank you very much. So viewers, these were the opinions of people. Now we are going to talk with the victim himself. Let's see what he is thinking right now. So Harrison, how are you feeling right now? Feelings? Asking a man on deathbed about his feelings? Do you know what feelings are? Do you know how awful oppression is? <sighs> you and your bloody dirty idiot handicap a general. In the name of equality, you suppress people. Yes, you have succeeded. You have succeeded in taking away enemy and jealousy from the society. But do you know? You have taken away happiness and freedom as well. So you think a change is necessary? 
change. If I can remain indifferent like this fools, chances for a change are negligible. These fools have become so acclimated to this suppression that this has become a way of life. So, no matter how difficult it is, I am going to establish it right now. I am liberal. Do you hear? I am liberal. You must tell the what I say right now. Help! Help! Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. Are you so okay? viewers, you have seen how violent yes. Hyderabad was. Yes, this okay? is the proof that he was sir. such a threat to our society. Okay. So ma'am, do you have any message for our citizens? Yes, thank you. Honorable gentlemen and gentle ladies, looking at the renting Harrison Burton, the terrorist, you might misunderstand our action. But we are not paranoid about the images you have in your mind. By establishing equality, which meant nobody was smarter than anybody else, nobody was better looking than anybody else, nobody was smarter, better, or stronger than anybody else. We materialize our dream. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, very much. Now, back to the studio. This is Julia Roberts, reporting for Crazy Cats. Thank you, Julia. So, viewers, you saw the execution live from the side. In the end, let's again, once again review the headlines. Happy Life Home turned to a nightmare's nest when two kids killed their parents. First execution in the current history of equality. This was for now with Crazy Cats. I'll meet you again this evening at 6 p.m. with more updates on Hadley's tragedy and Harrison Bartholomew. Have a good day.